this greatness. Y'all ready for this? I don't think y'all ready. I only touch greatness. You hear me? I'm on the podcast. Your boy Foot. It's the West Coast hip hop culture. All right. That's for that's, sure. Right. That's word. That's word. And speaking of speaking of Long Beach, man, like I uh so at one once upon a time I was signed to Freeway Ricky, um, his label. Yeah. And I know you know RX. And we was uh we we was actually I was actually with RX whenever we first uh touched down in the uh, Long Beach. Mm. Which was which was super crazy because like I'm from I'm from Missouri. So like the West Coast has always been like a, a dream for me to be. And then like I'm going to Long Beach, I'm being places where Snoop is from and everybody, I'm like, yo, like this is crazy. Nice. But the one thing that I, I, I do gotta give you props on though is you do show much love to artists. Like RX, for instance. RX is doing this thing. There's another rapper that I know that um is really influenced by you. Her name is Lex Bratcher. Mm. <laughs> Le now Lex is hard. I didn't even know she was a fan, but she hard. Oh yeah, she a big bro. She a huge fan, huge fan. Also, um, unconventional kings. They all they all coming out of Arizona, but yeah, Lex yeah. got it. Yeah, she yeah she got it, bro. Like I wanted to meet up with her too, just to kind of like chop up game with her. You know what I'm saying? But she caught me in a transition. I was moving out of my office in Venice Beach. And it just, the timing didn't work, but I have reached out to her because I saw her kicking these freestyles on the internet. And I'm like, yo, she's dangerous. You know what I'm saying? I, I really love the, you know, the clarity. You feel me? Like some people, when they doing their double time, they chopper flow, it's it's not, you can't understand every single word, but she was crystal clear with it. And she was hitting hitting her points, hitting her targets. And I was like, yo, I really, I really love it, man. It's to me, it's so many, um, talented people my brother that it's a shame that you know everybody won't get that super duper spotlight so i feel like it's our duty to try to make people aware of just you know enjoy this buffet of talented people in this culture you know what i'm saying just enjoy it you know you don't gotta just listen to one dude for the rest of your life three you got three rappers that you listen to all the time you know what i'm saying like yo Expand your horizons. You know what I mean? The underground is always harder than the, than the mainstream. You know what I mean? Like, that's just facts. Because the, main, the mainstream is, is too political. And they don't got a lot. They don't got enough creative control up there. You know what yeah. I mean? So the underground is always harder. It's always better. And, you know, nah, it's, you know no knock on the main. There's some people in the mainstream that's doing their thing. Of course. But if I if you told me to line up 10 mainstream rappers and 10 underground rappers, them underground rappers about to eat. <laughs> they about to eat, you feel me? <laughs> so I just like people to be exposed to everything that's going on. I get mad with super with platform, hip hop platforms. Don't mention Lex. Don't mention the shoe game. Don't mention, you know, different people. I'm like, man, y'all, y'all don't even, y'all ain't even tapped in. Who mm -hmm. gave y'all this platform? Y'all ain't even tapped in. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm I'm definitely for the artists. Yeah, they don't even they hardly ever talk about the West Coast. They always been sleeping on it. For years, Prince shoot one your turn, but 